Welcome back to the Mank Entrepreneur YouTube channel and to another episode of the Mondays Don't Suck series. And today is, <coughs> excuse me, the 4th of September. We're now into September, August is out of the way, which basically means Christmas is here. So, uh, as always, going to kick things off with a look at last week, what we've got coming up this week before having a little bit of a chat about what we can expect over the next few weeks and months. So, uh, last week uh, was a bit of a bitty one for me. Like I said, Monday was bank holiday. Um, I was around working. Obviously, we did the East Side Cafe News Roundup, as, as always, on Monday. Uh, Tuesday was technically my day off. Um, like I said last week, uh, on Tuesdays we have a birth... Oh, sorry, on birthdays we have a policy where you take your birthday off and... Uh, as my birthday landed on a uh, weekend, my next nominated day was the Tuesday, so I had that off. So last week was a, was a quiet one for me. I was only in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, properly Monday I was around, but obviously not many other people were. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, pretty standard days. Um, Matt still uh, isn't feeling too good, so it's been... Uh, he's you know, he's having problems with his hearing, which makes recording content very difficult. Um, and largely anything that I would do would then have to be re-recorded with his input. And yeah, it's been a, been a tough one. Hopefully, Matt is get. Hopefully, will be better this week. I know he went to the doctors last week, and, and fingers crossed, things will be getting better on that front. Uh, I did have a really good meeting uh, with World First regarding uh, Esau Cafe on Friday with their guys over in Austin, Texas. Um, so some interesting things coming out of that meeting, hopefully. Now, uh, this week at the minute is looking pretty clear. As far as, the, as far as the calendar goes, there's nothing set in stone. I am anticipating a physical meeting somewhere in Manchester this week to talk about, again, an opportunity which I can't mention too much about does involve selling on Amazon um, so again I'm hoping we can get some movement on that this week um, and then yeah hopefully Matt can I, I need to obviously catch up with Matt and hopefully he's feeling better about uh, you know hopefully his ears are best you can hear again and we can uh, really go out I mean we've got so much planned to do uh, we just need to sit down hit record and get get new stuff uh, get new content recorded um, so hopefully this week will largely be a week of being here, getting things done. Uh, and just check in. I've not missed anything. Nope. Uh, not yet, anyway. So I do anticipate things will fill up the diary this week. Um, but as of right now, nothing is standing out. So, yeah. Again, I should apologise as well. There was no video on Friday. Um, and again that is for a good reason friday was quite a busy day i was here all day i didn't go anywhere i wasn't out gallivanting i was here all day um and like i said myself and richard had the meeting with world first that was sort of four o'clock our time that sort of went on for a good couple of hours so which took me to six o'clock my time and then my sister arrived uh you know she, she uh, she's largely based down uh in london so she was up for the weekend so I said we'd arranged to do some stuff with my sister. So time just got away from me on Friday and I didn't actually manage to get anything recorded. Um, but not to worry, as uh, normal service will be resumed this week, uh, I've got quite a few different video ideas coming up, which hopefully you will enjoy. Now, onto the main subject of the day. Again, Christmas is here. As much as, like I said, I hate to say it, we're now in September. The kids are going back to school today or tomorrow uh, if they're not back already. And that means that mums uh, are now in Christmas shopping mode. And I it's that time of year where I hate going shop. I mean, I'm not a big shopping fan anyway. I do it all online, unsurprisingly. But it's when the Christmas music starts. I know, September. And it feels like it goes on forever. Um, and and that's, you know, it... it, it <laughs> People, I'm a little bit scroogey when it comes to a bit bar humbug. I don't really get into the whole uh, Christmas feel that much. Um, but with that bearing in mind, obviously, as retailers, as e-commerce sellers, that is what you have to be prepared for. Now, last week I did a video uh, called "The Top Three Things That You Can Prepare Your," you know, prepare for your Christmas this year. Uh, the link will be up here. 
check that out and uh, that gives you the three things that I've seen over the past eight years of working in e-commerce which people either neglect to pay enough attention to or get caught out with in terms of how uh, how much of an impact they can actually make. So again, check that video out. Let me know if you have any questions, any comments, um, or even if you want some actual one-on-one -on -one help uh, with your business, whether you want me to sort of come in as an outsider, try and give you some clues, some, some help, some advice on how you can be in the best possible position for Christmas this year, reach out to me uh, and we can hopefully try and arrange something. You know, I, I'd be more than happy to try and help you out uh, wherever possible. So, yeah, that it's, it's a quick one today. It really is the fact that this is the wake-up call. We're in September now, which, as much whether you hate it or not, it means Christmas is here. If you're a retailer now, these these are your like last two or three weeks where you can really start making a difference uh, and putting things in place for Q4. Don't, you know, don't forget Black Friday. That's the end of November. Don't forget Christmas. Obviously, huge sales period, all from Black Friday to the second week of December. And then, obviously, don't forget Boxing Day in January sales as well. Huge marketing opportunity there. Huge sales opportunity still uh, to be made in January. Um, so that's what I want your sort of Monday motivation to be today. I want you to sort of sit down, think about how, it, you know, again, take that external step away. Am I ready? for christmas this year am i ready for the q4 um on you know bombardment of sales and traffic uh, and if not what do i need to be ready uh, and and really is you know time to pull your finger out and make sure you're in the best possible position with that said i'm going to keep this one short and sweet i hope you have a fantastic monday i hope you have a great week i'll be with you all this week uh, with new content so if you've enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you are new and i'll catch you as always in tomorrow's video thank you for watching